Hey everybody, it's Jason Creo and you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Some of you that follow the channel regularly have been following the, how I've renovated my lawn from complete woods where you couldn't even walk through it, it was so thick, to now I'm going to try to grow it in this year and have it looking immaculate. I've done uh, taken off the trees and graded it out and plugged it with sod and this is a year where I think it all comes together. So I'm going to show you the lawn and talk to you about the process of growing it in. And this hopefully will be the first video. Uh, well, I've had others on, you know, on a similar topic showing the land being cleared and things like that. But this, I want to be the first one to show you what it looks like now in the spring so that later I can come back and show you how much progress it has made uh, in the fall and see if we can get complete coverage of about two acres with very little Bermuda. So let's get started with that right now. This is Bermuda grass. I'm standing in my front yard, which we totally redid uh, about a year and a half ago, I guess it was. And I want to talk to you about the process of what to do to a yard that is a complete mess. You want to just redo your entire yard, start all over from scratch. And I did this without seed. Now I understand some of you guys that uh, deal with cool season grasses, seeding is probably uh, the fastest and, and perhaps best option uh, for the for the money for sure I would think to get your yard back for some of us with the warm season grasses that seed is an option as well but I want to talk you through the process of how I got my yard to look like this and, and this is in April okay so I'm you know as we get into summer and I get the fertilizer on here it's going to get a, a deeper darker color but you know fairly decent looking Bermuda um, especially when you see what it looked like before so I'm going to show you some clips and then we're going to talk to you about the process and I'm going to show you what I'm doing in the back of my property because we're going to do the whole process again and hopefully document it on YouTube. So we've started the, the sodding process and I know what you're thinking. If you see this, you're going to be like, Jason, I think you missed a spot, you know, and you're right. I did miss a spot. I missed a lot of spots, but this is uh what we're doing two two pallets for about two and a half acres and i had some bermuda growing already so you can see how we've done it we just we got a trailer and just throwing it off the trailer and and you can see over here this was some bermuda all right so let me go back and show you some clips when we were plugging this with sod this yard was horrible when we moved into the house and i basically sprayed it and just killed the whole yard okay and then we graded it out with a skid steer and then we plugged with sides so let me show you a clip of that right now and so he came across and it, and it all basically looked like that just a just a jungle of woods that was basically hard to walk through and we knew we had some good looking trees on the property because you could see the tops of them so I don't know if you can see that's a, a big oak tree that is is quite a number of years old I'm assuming so obviously we're going to leave that and he started just piling stuff up now we're going to have to get it hauled off most likely because i'm pretty sure we're not allowed to burn it in this situation um, and you're going to pick up some road noise i'm going to try to plant some trees to sort of evergreen trees both for sight privacy and also to help with the noise coming off of the road that's back here so if you hear some background noise that's what that's for now i did that late summer of uh, two years ago so you know, a year and a half ago it, it was super hot i had a hard time getting it, keeping it watered and some a lot of it died to be honest with you um, but once it took root it did eventually start to spread and then last year i had almost solid grass in my front yard it was looking great now you see a huge bare spot behind me my house is under construction and that's where a septic tank was put in recently and they messed up my yard so uh, the half where the septic tank is is uh is, is messed up the half that does not have septic tank is still looking pretty good now there's some imperfections there's some bald spots you know just show you around some of those areas haven't filled in yet um, but you know you get in this area and this is pretty much what almost all the yard looked like and then of course here's where uh, the septic tank you know took its toll on the property field lines and all that so let me take you to the back and show you what we're doing back there because it has also been a process. I'm gonna show you some clips. Because when you're trying to grow grass in a yard, I mean, you, you have a few options. You, you can seed, but I've had several people ask me about seeding their yard recently. 
and I try to talk them out of with warm season grasses. Okay, with cool season grasses, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk you out of, but with our warm season grasses, uh, it is an option, but you need to wait until it's hot, okay? And then you have to have a strategy of how you're gonna keep your grass watered, which is gonna be a challenge for many people. Me, having several acres that I need to fill in, um, it, I, it was gonna be a challenge to keep it watered. Now, it was a challenge plugging it with sod was also a challenge but i want to show you um, what the bag looks like and why i'm doing what i'm doing and hopefully be able to continue documenting this on youtube and ultimately have a kind of finished product i'm hoping by the end of this year that this is going to be 100 percent coverage back here i'm, I'm at 100s probably you know, let's just say 95 percent coverage because there may be some areas where it doesn't get enough sunlight all right, so let's take a look. This is what it looks like today, okay? And you say, Jason, well, I mean, what is that? You barely have any grass. I mean, it just looks like a, a big pile of dirt. Well, you're not looking hard enough. Uh, what we did was, this was all trees. This, this was a jungle. I'm gonna show you a clip now of what this looked like back when we were clearing the land. Um, a little over two years ago. So let me show you that now. So there's the there's the machine We flagged some trees we want to keep so maybe keep that one. I may I, I, I might keep that pine tree I'm not sure but obviously most trees are gone. I flagged that one But I think I'm gonna take it down because it's too too much in the middle And some of these a couple of these other ones I'll probably um, take out and just leave the ones that are closer to the creek so we wanted to leave sort of a semi barrier over by the creek to give us some more privacy and uh you know hopefully take some of these down probably take that tree out probably take that pine tree out so that the middle can be wide open because you know i want to have this a lot of grass and then grow some things back here blueberries and figs and muscadimes and things like that but i don't want to be doing you know a lot of trimming and stuff like that so you see there's a gigantic pine tree that he took out that we were gonna leave but it was just right in the middle of the property and so we just took it out so um huge pile of limbs i don't know how many loads it's gonna take with the tree service obviously the less the better for me okay and so once we cleared the land then i uh, had to wait if we cleared the land and there was piles and piles of trees here and then winter came and i couldn't get the, the trees hauled off before uh before they got too wet back here and so what happened was it took forever to get the trees hauled off so i did plug some sod kind of more on this front side of the of the back of this property and it it took root and started really spreading last year but on this back side it was big huge piles of trees until about may or june of last year so about july of last year again not ideal timing I put out two pallets of sod. Now this is about two acres back here. I bought two pallets over two acres. So, you know, not exactly sodding it solid. And I didn't even break it up, cut it up, or plug it or anything. I literally just took the sod and just threw the entire piece out here on the ground. Let me show you a clip of that. the year before I had took the plugs but when you get the plugs they don't have as much dirt attached to them where this situation they, they yeah, I just thought well let me leave the topsoil on there because again doing it in July the year before it was August watering is an issue in July and August in Alabama neither of those times were as ideal I would have loved to put that sod out in March or something or November I mean who, who you know anytime but july and august but that was when i didn't want to wait i wanted to get it going and get it rooted so what happened was it did root i i, I watered it and you know it, it was doing it that late it didn't have a lot of time to spread but i've got you know patches of bermuda here that huh, it eventually took root but again not not much spreading because it, the weather began to cool off you know and this is just literally squares of sod that i just threw out here and let fall where it may well what happened this year 
uh, I, I didn't think that it was level as I wanted it to be. It was still lumpy and bumpy, and I thought, this is my one chance to get this grass, this ground nice and level before that Bermuda just takes over. And so what we did, I got my dad come over here with a tractor, and we tilled it up, okay? Just tilled up the land. I thought, I'm gonna get this smoothed out if I can before the Bermuda fills all in, because I just want it to be nice, okay? I'm gonna put a, actually make a little mini driving range out here. I got about 100 yards, I'm gonna hit golf balls with my kids, hopefully. So we disc it up with a tractor, and, and that helped. Uh, and we tried to drag it with like a chain link fence with some blocks on it. But to be honest with you, that wasn't, uh, it, it helped, but it wasn't heavy enough and it wasn't able to level out perfectly. And the whole time I knew I, I kind of needed a box blade to, to drag it really good. Now there's some other things you could have used like a Harley rake or something would be awesome. But anyway, my neighbor has a tractor that's definitely older than I am. I, I don't know how old, but it is an old tractor, but it's got a box blade on it. And she let me borrow it. So I went and got the tractor and I, and I drug this out with a box blade. And so that's what we're at, that's where we're at today. Now there's sticks and rocks and nastiness all in here. You know, big rocks I'm gonna be throwing and getting out of here. It's, it's still gonna be a little bit of process, but we are in mid to late April at the time of this video. I do have Bermuda, I mean, yeah, I pulled some Bermuda up when I'm doing that, you know, I mean, it just, I probably got rid of some, I buried some, I ripped some pieces all the shreds and some of it will reroot and stuff but a lot of it is still in the ground okay and it's dry and the reason i finished this job today is because tomorrow we're supposed to get a lot of rain and i thought i'm gonna get this smoothed out not you know not perfect but this is way better than what it was and now i've got all this bermuda that took root last year and i'm gonna start fertilizing it Matter of fact, I've already been fertilizing it. So I'm gonna fertilize it aggressively and watch it spread. And again, this is uh, the time of this filming this video is April the 23rd, okay? So I wanna come back and check on this periodically and, and just document it on video. But you can see there's not a whole lot of grass and we're gonna see can we get close to 100% coverage by this fall you know when the when the grass stops growing i think we can um, but you know weather will probably play a factor in that if we get a lot of rain this summer that will definitely help so there you go that's kind of where i'm at with my yard i show you what it looks like in the front it was a redo this back's a redo and when you got several acres of land you know just going out there and sodding it solid is not always an option at least it wasn't for me so it was it came down to seeding or plugging and i chose the plugging route because i wanted a, a certain type of grass and bermuda when in full sun will, will run very fast okay and, and the bermuda i was going to be able to buy from the seed again it, it could have it could have been some nice bermuda as well but keeping that seed watered until it germinates was going to be a huge issue i thought i had a better chance of success with the sod i knew i didn't have to get all the sod to survive i just needed some of it to survive uh, if you could do this at a different time other than the dead heat of summer that would be awesome um, with seed though it needs to be hot so anyway got my grass here gonna start fertilizing and watch it spread so hopefully this helps you if you got questions comments uh, I, i've had people as they watch me over the years um, do things like this and work on this yard in particular they said hey that that helped me watching you redo your yard gave me some thoughts on and some hope for what i can do for my yard so i really think in the front yard i've got some common bermuda a little bit mixed in with my hybrid bermuda i tried to kill it but it, a little bit of it hung in there this back was all wooded and i put you know hybrid bermuda back here so i'm thinking it's going actually be more beautiful in the back um, than the front because I, I don't think there's going to be common Bermuda mixed in with the hybrid at least very little hopefully and I'm trying to do the landscape and all that and just make this tear out what was old and nasty and a bunch of sweet gum trees and Chinese privet and stuff like that and replace it and make something beautiful back here so we'll see how it goes thanks for watching the video hopefully you learned something I look forward to seeing the progress and I hope uh, if you want to stay along for the ride you can subscribe to the channel if you hadn't done so Appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.